Hey YouTube, so just wanted to share what we're working with this year for the Detroit Gambler 500. So uh, this will be our third year going. Uh, the last two years we've had um, cars both years. This year we finally got something a bit more fun. Um, so since we're coming from Florida, we tend to uh, try to get things uh, a little bit better shape than if we lived up in Michigan. Um, and so this is what we're working with. So we got the five speed manual, uh, Ranger short cab with a short bed. A little beat up on the inside, but um, we're gonna be working on this a bit. Um, since we're driving from uh, Florida, we we're gonna put new seats in and put uh, AC working in here and heat. Um, but yeah, so we'll be doing some of that today and I'll include some of that in this video as well. But yeah, overall runs and drives and uh, ready to go off-road. So I went for a quick ride to verify whether the heat was actually fully not working um, since the radiator was a little bit low before and just seemed like a good idea before I got all into the rest of the dashboard. And it wouldn't turn on and then I came to the realization that I was a dumbass and I left everything unplugged. So yeah, that would be why. Quick update, the um, heater core, I, these don't, these little hoses here don't get very warm when, even when it's really hot. Um, and it's still got to run away on the throttle when you go to take off. So if you go, if you get up to 15 and take your foot off the gas, it accelerates to 20. <laughs> so I figured cleaning the throttle body was probably a good first bet on that. And also cleaning the idle air control sensor was probably a good oh, yeah, idea. You can blast it out. I'm yeah, sure I've got I've got map it. cleaner, so I was figuring we'd do some math cleaner on that bad boy, and then uh, did, put this you, back did together. Did you want to do the whole flush? Is that why you bought this? Uh, no, I just want to top it off and make sure that there's no air in the um, in the lines to the heater core because I, I'm I'm pretty sure the heater core is clogged, but I'm not 100% yet. So. Uh, one minor thing I just ran into is this had a gasket on the back, so we can't put this back on without a gasket. Yeah, I saw that that kind of tore up. Right, so, so we'll, we'll be going back demo. anyway. Yeah, we'll be going back anyway, so. So I've gone ahead and flushed out most of the radiator fluid here out of the heater core, blasted it out a few times with some air, and I've uh, got some vinegar sitting in it right now to hopefully clean it up a little bit, and I'm gonna run some water through it and um, hook it back up. I got one of those little burper funnels. I'm gonna give that a go, see if maybe there was just air in it. And hopefully that makes this thing actually um, blow some heat. If not, then uh, it's a separate issue. All right, so I've gone ahead and reassembled the uh, heater core lines, or radiator coolant lines to the heater core. Um, Got to put the uh, intake, or sorry, throttle body and the air intake back on. Um, once those are done, uh, gonna try to fire it up and uh, got one of these Feel-free burp funnels, so I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to burp it with that and see what happens. Hey, quick tip: if anything's broken in your car, just take it to a mechanic. Get better shit to do. Quick tip: when you're putting this back on, assemble everything together, and then put it on. As you can see, Robert's having a great time. Heat's on. I'm gonna let it cycle. Oh, this is what we're trying to do: is the heat still? Yeah. We're still working on the heat. Uh, it was. A, it was. A, I got. We were working on so much. Shit, I got distracted. All right. What's this gonna do? In theory, this should be higher up than the radiator, or the, sorry, the heater lines to here. So well, it technically should, is, I think. The air should escape through this. It might take a while. So you should be able to see some bubbles? Eventually, yeah. Assuming the We're heater- We're getting that smoke comes, again. Yeah, it's normal. I spilled water on it. I really don't think it's normal. I spilled, I spilled water on the engine block. YouTube, if you know what this is, you tell us. So probably a pretty uh, decent leak coming out. Well, of the head. Of the head. And uh, the flushing we did didn't work. So we have to pull the air box, but we're probably more concerned about coolant leak at this point. Probably. And 
That'll probably occupy the next three weeks of our time. It seems to be smoking out of here now. <laughs> and it is the same color smoke. I don't even know how that's possible. It's just coming up around something. Same color smoke, same smell. That's yep. good for my brain. Here we step back. But yeah, so we'll be pulling this head off and make this a 17 week series. All right, so we got a little frustrated with the head gasket situation. So uh, we've gone to uh, ripping out seats and cleaning out the blower motor. So yeah, nothing else works. It's not going to get done today. The head gasket? Oh no, the head gasket will be done. Uh, check out our video next month where we will be ripping down the full engine of a 98 Ranger. Uh, but for now, we're probably going to do some more air conditioning stuff. The blower motor is making a terrible noise, probably because there's a bunch of crap in there from 300,000 miles of buildup. And uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the seat situation yet, but it ain't good. it's not good. This whole interior is not that great. We were in the process of pulling the dashboard off to uh, look at some, some of the air conditioner, trying to get our ear up to the flaps in there to see if we could hear them uh, moving which we did so we know that's still good the air is blending well um, but the rest of this is like 300,000 miles of gross so uh, we're going to be stripping this interior as part of another uh, thread on this project so stay tuned for that I think we're going to take the seats out right now and do that blower motor yep yep